Hi guys, so here's my first recording um, that I'm going to do and upload it onto my channel. Um, and basically what this is, is this is an introductory to how I do homeschool. Everybody is different, I'm just going to start out by saying that. Everybody has their own way of homeschooling um, and just this is my way of doing it. So. You, what I started out doing, um, just before I show you my schedule, and um, I'm going to be going, going over my schedule, kind of how my routine is in the morning, and um, our daily notebooks. Um, basically how I started out, I was very overwhelmed. I did not know how or where to start, um, and I just was googling and you know just kind of searching for ideas because I just felt so lost I really wanted to homeschool but I just didn't know where to start and there was so much material even at this age that you could choose from and it was just like ah, you know like I don't know how to handle this kind of thing so I stumbled upon a website it is confessions of a homeschooler she is a mother of um, Goodness, I think three or four children, and she had they're all different ages, and um, you know, she she has her own curriculum that she makes. And I ended up buying the curriculum called Letter of the Week, and we started from there. Addison started at three and a half, four, because she's five now, and it took me forever as far as prep and trying to get things together and we started actually doing it after um, I pulled my oldest Addison out of school. Um, last year I had them both go to school just because I was trying to work and save up for a Disney trip and it just was more convenient and I wanted to give it a go because I just felt I still felt overwhelmed and lost even having a curriculum I just felt like that wasn't that wasn't enough for me like it wasn't as far as the curriculum what I taught was fine I just didn't feel like it was a great fit for us just doing that alone so I kind of um, you know here and there would would search and on breaks and stuff and um, ended up um, going with letter of the week um, after uh, last year around spring break I just decided, you know what, we're going to try this week while she's out of school anyway to just implement this and just see how it works. If it doesn't work, then, you know, that's that's fine. I'll just send her back to school this next week and, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. And so I wasn't really expecting anything out of it. We started it and we loved it. We loved the flexibility. I loved having my kids at home. I loved not having to... I uh, struggled to pick both of them up because they were on um, different sides of town and it was just a struggle. And so after I started that and had them at home and had nothing to worry about, I just, I worked from home. So I would work during their, their rest time and at night after they went to bed. So it, was, it wasn't that bad of a schedule readjustment for us. Um, and we just continued throughout the summer with Letter of the Week. Um, now this fall... I started actually a different program. Um, it's called K-12. We went at it and I gave it about a month, um, a little under a month, and just we did not like it. We didn't like the fact that there was no flexibility and I felt like it was going to be a whole lot different, um, but it was basically the same as public school. You had a schedule you had to adhere to. If they didn't learn it by this point, then you were in trouble and you if you missed any any sort of work it was hard to make up and I just felt like we were behind and I knew that my child was intelligent and she was not behind in any aspect I didn't feel like so it just I didn't like the way it made us feel and you know and the fact that if somebody was sick one day for example my youngest is only three so she couldn't learn any of this with with her with Addison because it was just so fast-paced for a kindergartner 
Um, it just there's a lot of cons to the program. I like some of the stuff that they did. I like the teachers. I like the interaction, um, but all of the material and just the sort of rushiness that they had to it, um, basically to adhere to one particular type of child as far as their learning style. Um, and it just did not fit us and our family. And the fact that I didn't want to spend hours upon hours upon hours on the computer and at a desk. I wanted her to learn outside of that as well um, as sitting down and, and written work as well. So kind of a, a good balance. So that lengthy introduction brings me to how I started after we withdrew her from K-12 program this year. So we withdrew her in towards the end of August, so uh, or beginning of September, um, and she started K twelve on the fifteenth, I think, and we we were we were completely not um, for it by September, beginning of September, maybe two weeks into September. So that was about a month. So this is what I did. I kind of was like fed up with just googling, and I just was like. I googled other people's schedules, like how they did their homeschool, and I started from there because I had the curriculum that I needed from years of just kind of buying things as I went, educational things, and collecting them, and I was, I knew I was ready for it. I just didn't know how to organize and, and manage our time and to be able to be as flexible as we wanted to be and also learn and, and love learning. Because Addison got to a point in K-12 where she just absolutely didn't want to do it anymore. So here's our schedule. And I'll just tell you. Monday, so I don't know if you can see. Monday, we do reading, math, poetry, and handwriting. Um, Tuesday, we do sight words, which I have flashcards of sight words. Which I'll go over all this in my curriculum videos. This is just introductory. Um, math character, which is basically writing, um, reading a story, and I have a little character chart where they choose a character from the story, and they um, basically analyze the character. So it kind of gives them good reading comprehension um, skills, kind of practicing. Um, and then free write, what free write is, is they choose a word that they want to write that they're interested in, and they tell me, and we either do it on paper with pencil, um, or we do it, we, I have little cards that are dry erase cards, and they write it with a dry erase marker, um, or they do it with crayons. I mean, any of writing materials that you have, you can just implement and use that. Um, Addison's done one sentence so far, and we've kind of practiced how to space the words out. Um, just kind of practice, you know, and, and that's, that doesn't take more than five minutes to do, um, depending on what they're wanting to write. Now, Wednesdays, um, this is uh, this idea was taken offline, so I've adjusted it. So, Wednesdays is actually our library day. So, Wednesdays, I've switched out with Friday. So, Friday or Wednesday, we do science and art. And then Thursday, I've put here, um, we do reading, math, geography, which... And, you know, what I mean by geography, um, we do, you know, for example, we did a Antarctica lesson, and we figured out where Antarctica is on our globe. Um, we figured out who lives in Antarctica, if there's people, if there's, you know, what kind of animals. Um, we drew landscapes, um, you know, icebergs, for example. They define icebergs as, you know, little pieces of ice breaking off floating in the water, that kind of thing, and, and knowing the difference between glaciers and icebergs. Glaciers you can see all of, and icebergs not necessarily you can see all of there in the water, so down below the water you can't see. So that kind of just very, very simple, not going really in depth into it, just kind of letting them, uh, introducing them to some vocabulary you know, that kind of thing. And I just do that at random, whatever they're interested in or whatever I think they'll be interested in because at this age, they can't really tell me everything that they're interested in, but I can just kind of give them choices, um, do three choices or two choices, 
and they'll pick one or the other and the next week we'll do the other one so that kind of thing um and then let's see i've already did this so friday um we do sight words which are on um, flashcards and we go over i kind of i started out with like four or five very simple sight words and on a ring and I just kept adding more and more as they got the hang of each set of words and so we're up to I think 30 now and they don't ha quite have all of them so we're just kind of reviewing them until they have all of them and then move on um, and then math history and then pre-write and history same thing as geography and um, science they kind of choose um, between what they want. I give them a choice, um, you know, and if they're interested, for example, in, in bears or something, we'll study the science of bears or, you know, just random stuff that I think they should know or they would have fun learning. So it, that's the beauty of, of homeschooling is you can just be very flexible in what they learn. Um, and not be so link, lengthy on things because everything, everything that we do is educational. Everything, anything from play all the way up to whatever they're doing. Usually they spend a lot of time over in the, in the corner, the homeschool corner. It's filled with all kinds of stuff for them to pull out and do by themselves. Um, and it's just it's a great thing that I've got set up, I think. It's, and, you know, um, moving on to our daily notebooks, that kind of was an introduction of how I do my school on a daily basis. Um, we start, just so that you know what, when we start, we get up in the morning, we have breakfast, and that's around 9, um, and we, after, during our breakfast, we have devotions um, for key for kids is what I use. I use an app on my iPad and I'm telling you this iPad is what I do majority of my school with. It is it is like the Bible to me because it doesn't take any prep for me to do any of my lessons. I do my lessons through YouTube. I do a lot of them through YouTube. So any of the educational videos that they watch I do them through YouTube if I find something that's really, really nice as far as um, reviewing, going back over, I will save it to a playlist that I have on my profile and we can go back to it, you know, and it saves and it's awesome. So YouTube all the way and then Google. So Google's really good. So if you need to pull up a quick, really easy sort of lesson or a craft idea, or you know, Pinterest is a very good one too. Um, that doesn't make you require any sort of prep. So that's a good thing, <laughs> really good thing. So that's like, that is, that's a godsend. I'm so glad that I invested in an iPad for my children because we use it all the time, all the time. So this is our daily notebook. So I got this, um, this, all of everything printed material from Confessions of a Homeschooler. So this is something that I kept after we did Letter of the Week over the summer. Um, I kept this because it's so good. And then she goes up. So after my oldest goes into first grade next year, I can then advance it and keep my youngest at this level. Um, but right now it's... Um, you know, I've added a little bit to it. I know it says my pre-K, but everything in here goes all the way up to first grade. And you can add a little more for kindergarten, but really, honestly, pre-K level goes all the way up to first grade. And then first grade, you just add a little bit to the notebook to make it a little more advanced for them so that they don't get bored doing the same thing every day. It kind of changes everything. So here we have each day, I'll just show you one page. So each day we have, um, you know, the, oh goodness, here it is. So we have the name, and they can circle the day here up here at the top, and then they can trace the name of the day, and then we have a calendar time where we put the date up, and then they have to pick out 
the uh, the date. So, for example, if it's the it's the twenty fifth today. Oh goodness, I'm all backwards. Uh, so twenty fifth, they would find twenty five, circle it, and then down here they would write the number twenty five. Um, and then you know go after and then the number before so it kind of gives them good practice in relation to where the number is on the calendar and also where the number is as you're studying numbers it really gives them practice and then down here at the bottom um, I can take out so this is this is all in a screen or uh, not screen sheet protector so this this is actually for dry erase so you can actually take that that number word out and change it weekly and just do your that's what I do each page or each five days I do weekly with the number words so they trace the number word and that gives them really good practice with number words and I'll just tell you starting out Addison did not know how to write her numbers so I had to kind of guide her but I encouraged her to do it every day because eventually she got to the point where she did it all by herself so it was just a matter of just sticking with it, being consistent, I'm not making her necessarily, but just encouraging her. If you, you know, I've, I've always told her, it, you have to practice in order to get better at something. So she knows that if she practices, then she gets better. And she's seen it, you know, she'll say, look, I've been practicing, look how good I'm doing my, you know, numbers, that kind of thing. So, you know, and if sometimes they don't want to do it, don't force them to do it, you know. But have them at least trace the the words because it's really good at this age for them to trace it. So here, sorry about the sign, um, we have what time is it? So we have the digital time over here and then we have the traditional time over here. So what I do is I use my iPad. I pull up, I have a website that has live time and you can see how the clock goes around in traditional time here. <laughs> sorry it's hard to do it backwards um, but here so they will look at the iPad and see the traditional time uh, like on a tr traditional clock and they'll also see the digital time beside it and they will tell me what time it is they know that this this is the hour and this is the minute so they know that and we just practice you know that's good number recognition and also, you know, they learn the clock. We actually have a Melissa and Doug clock that they will set it to before they try to figure out um, to, to, to copy it and draw it. So um, they do that. And then it also, that time page, also has a temperature and weather checker on it. And that's where we do our weather from our weather chart um, that I have in my homeschool corner. And then here, they will actually draw what they're wearing today. So after we go over the temperature, if it's cold, you know, they'll draw a coat, um, you know, or pants and, and make a smiley face. They have a lot of fun doing that. Um, and, you know, it's it's fun. It's, 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 it makes it fun for them. Um, it's not all just boring written schoolwork. So here, I'll just show you what we did at the beginning of, of, of our school journey. Um, so I don't know if you can see, but this is Addison writing her name. So what I do is during the month of April, for example, she would just dry erase, do it. She There wouldn't be, this would be blank, just like this. She would dry erase and practice and practice. And then at the end of the month, I would then pull this out from the from the um, protector and she would then do it with a pencil or colored pencil and you can kind of she can kind of look and see her progression over time um, she's gotten so much better just from doing it every day one time as you can see she's gotten so much better but you know here we are in October and she can like it, it's just it's amazing to look at um, but we also have, which we don't use, we don't use these since we already have a calendar, but we did over the summer, um, and so it's, it's up to you, to you. And, and right here, oops, there we go, um, right here, there's a calendar. They can um, trace the number of whatever day it is, and then you have a weather chart down at the bottom there that you can color in. So, um, 
And then I have, you know, from the letter of the week, there's also coloring sheets in the back, but we really, we don't use those anymore because we're not doing letter of the week um, anymore. So that is my introductory to school and kind of introduct, introducing you to what we start out with. Um, so we do, we do the, in the morning during breakfast, we do the devotions and then we move on to daily notebooks. And then um, I will be doing a video on kind of the other curriculum that I use and kind of do individual videos on the subjects. Um, some of them will be long, some of them will be short, um, but hopefully I'll just make it short and sweet for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Tea. Tea for Jack.